All right, guys, it's a new release day. That's always fun. So three items came out today. We are going to open two of them tonight. And before we get started, of course, there is a little bit of information that I like to go over. So we're going to get rolling with that right now. Feedback is completely automated. That way you don't ever have to wait on me. So anytime you leave positive feedback for me on eBay, you're going to instantly get it in return. Of course, the second message there is to say thanks. I do appreciate everyone who bids and breaks with me. Many of you come by and hang out and chat with me, keep me company. Uh, so I appreciate you being here tonight. We are next going to take a look at breaks that are coming up here over the course of the next few days. So this is the stuff that is already up and running on eBay that, uh, yeah, we'll be breaking over the next five days. So tomorrow night will be a two box break of Gold Rush Autograph Mini Helmets. Those two will be paired together uh, to make a single break. We will also open Optic again, but as a half case tomorrow night so that we will also have time to open 2019 Top Series 1 Jumbo Baseball. That came out today too, of course. Just decided to hold that break over to tomorrow night since we already had a couple of cases of other stuff rolling tonight. On Friday, we'll open a TriStar Game Day Greats Autograph Football jersey, a second case of limited football, and we will open some Crown Royal Basketball again on Friday night. Saturday will be a Hit Parade Triple Play Baseball Box with three autograph memorabilia items in it. Also on Saturday, we will have Top Series 1 Jumbo once again. It will be the back half of the case that we start on Thursday night. We'll finish on Saturday night. Sunday is the Super Bowl. So yeah, I'm not going to break on Sunday. So we'll all probably be watching the game or doing, doing something anyway. So we're going to take Sunday off. On Monday, we'll open Crown Royal Basketball again, Playbook Football, and a little Premier Gear Baseball that is a player break. So spots are listed by the player name rather than by the team name on that one. Tonight, we are breaking just the two things. It will be a case of limited football followed by a case of optic basketball. That's the order we're going to go in as well. And guys, I'm projecting this to get out to you no later than Monday. Now, I'm hoping, of course, that I can get it out to you faster than Monday. Uh, and if I can, I absolutely will. But I'm projecting it for Monday to be on the safe side and hopeful, of course, that I can possibly get it out sooner. Should not be any later than that. Don't believe we'll have any issues with consolation cards. Certainly not in Optic Basketball. Every team is going to pull cards in there. Uh, in limited football, there's always a remote possibility, I guess, that maybe a team wouldn't pull a card. And if that should happen, your consolation card or cards that you would be due will ship out with the rest of the break since these are paid shipping breaks tonight. Now, as we have come to expect lately, unfortunately, I think I might have some unpaid teams. So let me take a look and see what's going on here with that uh, before we look at our spreadsheet. I believe it is just one bidder tonight, so that is going to make it perhaps a little bit easier uh, to deal with. But this one bidder has two teams, one in football, one in basketball. So I would be looking to sell both teams, preference going to someone who wanted them both. In limited football, it is the 49ers. Uh, last bid amount was $61, and in basketball, I'm pulling it up, guys, it is Cavaliers in Optic. Last bid amount was $28.78. So if anyone is interested in one or both of those teams, please jump in and let me know, because once again, we are setting on unpaid stuff. I'm getting, that's just getting old, isn't it, for you and me both. Meanwhile, let me update uh, the spreadsheet here real quick, guys, to uh, reflect the fact that these are unpaid. And then we'll roll on, roll on along here shortly as soon as I can get this done. We'll go back and take a look at it. Uh, who did I say Cavaliers? All right, there we go. All right, now we've got it updated in the spreadsheet at least, uh, so while... While you are mulling over whether or not you might want one or the other of those teams, let's go ahead and pull this up. 
So it is a 14 box case of limited football full case. It is break number one, just came out today. Everything we're breaking tonight ended tonight, Wednesday night, the 30th of January. And of course, team names are on the left, winning bidders across from it there on the right hand side. And uh, once again, an unpaid team in here with the San Francisco 49ers. Same person is going to have an unpaid team in Optic, which is the Cavaliers. All right, I'm getting ready to, up to, uh, to change the focus here. You are going to see the background go out of focus just a little bit, guys. That is by design. Uh, I like to look at the cards up nice and closely, and using autofocus doesn't always allow that. So I'm trying to... I need to tweak that a little, trying to manually set it in a way that will work for us. So we should be able to see our cards without issue, even though it makes the background go a tad out. So in chat tonight, who do we have? It is Greg and Dirty Dog and Jay Allen are all here. And uh, Ezekiel is here. Michael is looking for some Rams. LA is here. Jay Allen needs the Titans. And Greg and Jay Allen are wishing each other good luck. That's good. That's nice. Um, and Jordan, do you want both, Jordan? You do want both. Okay. Awesome. Then um, we will let you do that. Jordan, you've got my PayPal information already, don't you? Or do you need me to type it in there for you? Uh, I think you probably have it, but I don't know that for 100% certain. Meanwhile, let me get it uh, blown out over here once again on eBay. I'm really getting tired of these people who bid and, and don't pay. That is just some crazy stuff happening with alarming frequency these days, isn't it? Hi, T. Cassidy. Duke City Girl is here. Hi, Duke City Girl. Um, all right, Jordan. Yeah, let me tell you the total... Um, Let's just round it down a hair. We'll make it, uh, it is in there at, I don't know, something and some change. $89 will cover it, Jordan, and I'll cover the shipping on it, okay? So um, that will work for me. I'm going to update the spreadsheet real quickly here to reflect that that is going to you. And that way I can keep track of it a little bit easier. And... Thank you very much for making that painless for us tonight. I tell you what, man, my block bitter list, I think they let you block like up to 5,000 people or something. I swear to you guys, mine is going to be full before you know it. It seems like every other day I am blocking about 10 people. <laughs> I mean, not really 10, but I mean, we've had a lot of unpaid people lately. Like a lot, lot. But anyway, what are you going to do? So limited football is up first, and I am in the process of getting that out of the box right now. And Greg says some of these people are crazy. Yeah, you are probably right about that. Oh, Duke City Girl is Crystal. Oh, cool. All right. Now, see, I was Crystal. You got all sly on us and changed your login name. We were all, like, we were confused. We didn't know who it was. Now I do. Awesome. Thank you, Jordan. I appreciate you, man. I will show you the update, of course, on the spreadsheet. If I can show you now if you want to see it for limited, but otherwise I'll show it to you right before we do optic because I already switched it in there for both of them. So limited football, they are not flipping kidding. It is limited this year. I Well, first of all, I messed up with the place where I get the most of my stuff and I put in the wrong quantity and didn't catch it until it was too late and pre-orders were closed and they would not adjust it for me. And so then I don't have as much of it as I would normally have because I simply made a typo when I was entering my quantities because this is a case of 14, not a case of 12. Whoops. And then I've tried like heck to pick it up everywhere else with zero luck. I was even going to pay full price today from Panini, had it in my cart, was checking out, entered my payment information, and by the time I confirmed the transaction, which took me approximately 45 seconds, it was sold out. <laughs> like, what in the world? I mean, like, how crazy is that? So crazy. 
<laughs> Jay Allen says I'm going to be <laughs> blocking half of eBay. <laughs> I feel like that some days, I swear. It's like, why do people bid if they're not going to pay? Especially, why do they bid on multiple teams when you're not going to pay? It's bad enough you bid on one and don't pay, but why are you going to bid on a bunch and not pay? But anyway, that's all right. We're going to have fun, and they're going to be sad that they lost out on their teams, hopefully. So, we are looking for two autographs and one memorabilia card per box. And we're starting off with a redemption. Boo. You know the drill, kids. It stays uh, face down. We will flip it over at the end of the break. Derek Carr to 99. First out, I saw a giant. I saw the word rookie. I was feeling good about it. And then I saw, whoops, <laughs> it's Kyle Lawletta. That is numbered to 99. And, of course, that is our memorabilia hit. We're looking for one more autograph. It is the Colts. Doris Fountain and Naheem Hines with a little partnership autograph numbered to 75. Got a little bit of a rough corner down there in the lower right, but nothing too outrageous. And of course, our second autograph in this box, that's the Redemption. So yeah, I'm going to have to hustle around and try to find us more limited, but good grief only knows what I'm going to have to pay for it. I've been trying all day. And nobody wants to give up any. And I have an idea. It's going to be so expensive by the time I do find it that they're probably uh, probably going to be out of reach. But we'll see. We'll see. Jordan, you're hoping for a Joe Montana. I would love to see you get a Joe Montana or a nice hit of some sort since you were kind enough to pick up those teams. Greg's in there saying, go Duke. I know, Manuel, you Duke fans, I tell you what. Oh, Duke City Girl, you started a channel. So that's like the name of your channel, too. Okay, cool. Well, that makes good sense. I like that. Mason Rudolph comes out for my Pittsburgh Steelers. That is number 250 with Relic and a hard-signed autograph for Pittsburgh. Next up is Justin Reed coming out for the Texans to 149. That one a sticker. But you know, I was also kind of surprised that Limited, like last year, and as hot as football was last year, which by the way was really hot, we could still buy Limited way after the fact. This is numbered to 99, Mike Evans and the Buccaneers. Like, it was readily available probably even up to a month or two after the fact. I am shocked at the fact that it isn't that available this year. Numbered to 75, that's Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. So tell us about your channel, Duke City Girl. What's happening there on your YouTube channel? Are you, um, are you doing sports stuff? Are you doing breaks? Fill us in. Tell us what's happening. Oh, you've uploaded one video so far, opening up a box of, what'd you say? Opening up a box of, what's Tendies? T-E-N-D-I-E-S. What is that? I don't know what that is. You gotta help me, man. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure it's something I should know, but I do not know. Oh, Greg, you got a little shock yesterday shipping to California. I warned you, man, that shipping is a way different deal now. Even first class, it's no longer just based on weight. It is now going to be done on weight and distance and package size. And some of it is a big, big price jump. If the person is located across the country from you, it's a big price difference closer they are to you the less impact it has unless it's a big box then it still pretty gets pretty good little chunk of it that's to 299 Cortland Sutton and the Broncos and the bad news is Greg I don't even think it's fully implemented yet from what I understand some of the dimensional stuff isn't even going to take effect for a couple more months that is Russell Wilson to 25 for the Seahawks Michael, you said uh, you bid your life savings on the Mavericks. 
well then we better find you something good in a minute in optic hadn't we for sure this is michael thomas to 75 for the saints greg you tried to get the steelers tonight but you had no luck well the colts are apparently going to corner the market on these this is the second one tonight already naheem hines and Darice fountain except this one's numbered to 50 like can anybody explain what the difference is between the one that's numbered to 50 and the one that's numbered to 75 let's just put them side by side just because we can let's do it oh there's a shiny little <laughs> there's a little bit of shiny stuff on the one to 50 but good grief that's a bit of a stretch now to do one to 50 and one to 75 and that's the only difference weak come on panini you can give us more of a difference than that if you're going to change up the numbering on us. Jay Allen, you said you got in limited breaks in August. Yeah, exactly. Because limited last year's limited, you could you might even still be able to buy it at a reasonable price. But you could certainly get it way uh way after the fact with very I mean some markup, but not a huge markup and this year I mean it's instantaneous the supply is dried up like instantly it's really um, kind of messed up so Duke City girl you're gonna do sports stuff and breaks all right cool excellent uh, but I don't know oh contenders you did contenders <laughs> see look I see I told you I should know what that was <laughs> And I just somehow, I had a mental block. I didn't get that Tendies was being was shorter for contenders. Sorry. <laughs> that is Edo Smith and the Falcons. That is numbered to 199. Hard signed auto and relic. So how did it go, Duke City Girl? Did you pull anything good? This is numbered to 49, David Johnson and the Cardinals. Next up is Mr. Carson Wentz for the Eagles primetime relic. It is numbered to 80, and it's just green. We don't have a second color in that one. Just green. So you're not in this one, but you want to see Josh Rosen come out of it? Well, let's wait, try to conjure up a little Josh Rosen. I got no problem trying to, trying to work through and find a little Rosen. J. Allen only ships flat rate. I wish I could do the same, but that would make it a lot more expensive uh, and doesn't, you know, doesn't always work for, for what I do, but I understand what you're saying. And Greg, you said you had to go in and update all your listings. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying on some of mine. I've, I've, I've absorbed some of the costs and on some of mine, I've upped it a little bit and I'm just going to kind of feel it out for a month or so and see how things come out overall and then figure it out on on as many as I can I want to stay kind of where we are but you know eBay taking their 10% and PayPal taking their three plus percent pair of them account for you know because they both take a chunk of what you charge for shipping too it's crazy Tyler Conklin, that is numbered to 199 for the Minnesota Vikings. Tom Brady might be winning another Super Bowl. You never know. We'll know Sunday. To 99, Mike Evans, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the Colts are absolutely just going crazy in this break. They are really going nuts in here. Here comes Naheem Hines. Another hit for the Colts. That is to 99. Little rookie phenom fabric. Um, Duke City Girl, you've been collecting patches for Rosen, but you want an autograph. Well, that would make sense. And Michael says that your wife is going to divorce you if we don't get you something good in optic. <laughs> Well, Michael, that's a lot of pressure on a girl, man. <laughs> uh, 
That is a lot of pressure, but I will do my very best to make sure that you do not end up divorced after this break, okay? <laughs> Jay Allen thinks one or more of our redemptions might be the six autograph booklet cards. Well, I would be happy with that. We got three of them stacked up so far, so we'll see what they end up being here shortly. This is a fairly quick break to be a full case. Cortland Sutton, that is the Denver Broncos. It is number 220. But yeah, I don't know why Panini cut the production so much this year to 49 AB Steelers. But I, uh, I guess they are. Well, they did. I guess there's any guessing. They did. Alvin Kamara and the Saints. That is numbered to 75. Mark Walton comes out of everything in the second. All the, all the stuff from like the middle of the season onward is Mark Walton for the Bengals. He's like the guy you find all the time. Number to 50. He also has a very effective use of space. His signature will fill up all of the available space pretty much no matter how big it is. <laughs> um, Michael, you said some, a handprint college rookie card that is 11 by 17. Is that one of the things that Panini prints on demand? Is that what you're talking about? They don't call it on demand. I forget what they call it, but... You know what I'm talking about. The stuff that they, you know, print as it is ordered. Is that what it means? Duke City Girl, if you know what your shipping weight is going to be and what your package size is going to be, it is absolutely to your benefit with the new shipping rules. I could have sworn I saw a points card to, I guess I, maybe I didn't, to, uh, to do it that way. Yes, I do see it. Why can't I find it when I'm going the opposite way? Where is the stupid thing? There. I just didn't want to come up with the wrong side of it coming up. Um, but yeah, you can definitely do it based on location as long as you know what it's going to be. But the unfortunate thing is in card breaks, you know, you don't know. One team might have a, a package that weighs a pound and a half and another team might have a package that only weighs five ounces. And obviously, you have to kind of guess at, you would have to guess at the weight, and then you would also have to guess at the dimensions, because the pound and a half shipping would be a completely different package than the smaller one, you know? Mike White to 75 for the boys. Hard signed auto and relic. Next, we have Kirk Cousins to 25. The bazillion dollar man who I'm not sure uh, has has lived up to expectations quite yet up there in Minnesota. Rookie Phenom's Cortland Sutton. That's a nice relic to 75 for the Broncos. And that box is all wrapped up. And let's see here. I'm trying to get caught up on, on all these questions. Echo has a question about grading cards. Uh, is it worth it to have a card graded? Well, Echo, for sure, if it's a high value or a very desirable card, absolutely. And it will, for sure, increase your bids. But if it's a lower-end card, I mean, it might still increase your bids, but it might not increase it enough to cover the cost of having it graded so it depends on the hit but I mean you can look at completed auctions in eBay even and do a quick comparison of graded versus ungraded and most of the time the graded uh, on a very desirable player or a desirable card if it grades well the difference will be quite noticeable this is Freeman to 99 for the Falcons there comes your man, Josh Rosen, Patch. It is numbered 250 for the Arizona Cardinals. And part of the reason for that, Echo, is because it's 
it's not subjective. So in other, well, I mean, it is when it's graded, but when you're the buyer and you see a graded card on eBay, you do not have to guess did this buyer describe it accurately? Did they leave out any flaws? Is there something I don't see in the picture? Or, you know, how nice is it going to be? All those questions are eliminated when you list it as a graded item. That is number 50. It is Deshaun Hamilton for the Broncos. So graded, you know, you can look at it and see the grade and know pretty much right away, okay, this is what I'm getting. And so therefore people are more comfortable with it and willing to bid higher, especially if it grades out well. So that's, that's my uh, experience with it. You guys uh, may have some different experiences with it, but that's certainly my experience. Well, tens, J. Allen, are a whole other story. I mean, if you find a perfect 10, they're very rare to come across a perfect 10 graded card. So yes, perfect 10s will command a much, high, a much higher price no matter almost who's on the card. But I'm talking about, you know, those are, you don't get those nearly as often. You're much more likely to get 9s and 9.5s, and that's more what I was talking about in terms of how one compares to the other, but for sure, you get a 10 of pretty much, I mean, you could put Snoopy on a card and you come out with a 10, you're probably going to get some money for it, you know. This is Traquan Smith, hard signed autograph and relic to 199 for the Saints. We have limited ink, and it is for the Buffalo Bills. And um, Duke City Girl says PSA or Beckett. I would use Beckett for modern cards, and I would use PSA for older cards. This is Rod Strader, Streeter for the Buffalo Bills, and it is numbered to 99. That may not look like it's a sticker, but it is a sticker auto on that one. So, yeah, I think um, most people would probably say Beckett for modern cards, older cards. Uh, I would definitely use PSA. That's to 99 Keenan Cole for the Jags. Royce Freeman. Somebody typed in, it's only Colts and Broncos. Dirty Dog, you're about right. That is how it's coming out right now, isn't it? It's numbered to 50 for the Broncos. Like we could use with seeing a few extra, a few different teams here in some of these last boxes. But we do have four redemptions. So those could all be different teams, you know, for sure. Duke City Girl, your local card store sends out cards for grading once a month. There are definitely local card shops that do that, and they will often get a little bit of a bulk discount for doing so, you know, depending on how many they send in at a time and that sort of thing. Uh, but it is also one less thing than that you have to mess with because they are supposed to be prepared a very specific way and the way they're sent in. And then, of course, you have to pay postage both ways. You have to pay postage to get it there. They charge you an arm and a leg in postage to get it back to you and uh, all that stuff. Now, this is just stupid. Now, if you have the Colts, I don't take this personally. I'm not hating on you for getting lots of hits. I'm glad you're getting lots of hits. But it's really stupid to have three of this exact same card in one case. And, yeah, this one is numbered to 75. So you now have two of them to 75, and you have one of them to 50, and that is just silly. There, there should not be three of the same card in one case. I'm not digging that. No offense again to the Colts. I'm happy the Colts are getting lots of hits. But Marvin Jones to 99. I would like to see a little more variety. Next up, uh, Deshaun Watson and the Texans. And Deshaun Watson is numbered 250. Another redemption. Holy moly. We've got quite a stack of those going now. Five in total that we'll be flipping over here in a bit to see who, who we've got. Dirty Dog, you pulled a Bradley Chubb redemption today in Limited. Okay. Well, that's good. 
So we know Bradley Chubb is a redemption. I don't know who else. I didn't watch anybody's breaks today. Yeah, Duke City Girl, they will typically prepare it for you at the local card shop when they batch them out like that in groups. I mean, basically, you have to put them in those semi-rigid holders. You know, you can't use top loaders and stuff like that. And then there's a certain way they're supposed to be prepared and packaged and sent and yada, yada, yada. So, but yeah, they, they typically will do that as part of their, part of their service. Darius Geis for the Redskins. That is number 250. Washington, hard signed auto relic. Hopefully that guy's going to come back good as new in the upcoming season, we hope. Change of pace again. Justin Watson to 199 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Michael, um, you said, have I seen redemptions where you get a box in return? There are some in Leaf Best of Football where the redemptions give you a box of cards. In fact, I believe we pulled one of those. It was for a Prism First Off the Line box. That is number 99, Kelvin Benjamin for the Buffalo Bills. And uh, yeah, those are in Leaf Best of Football. Joe Mixon, Cincinnati Bengals, prime time relic, number 299. Three boxes left, and then a big stack of redemptions. Big, big, big stack. Oh, you're right, Duke City girl. We haven't seen J-Dot yet. <laughs> For those of you who may not know this, um, somebody, I can't remember who it was originally, but one of you in, in the, in the breaks affectionately nicknamed Jamon Moore as J-Dot, and we just kind of ran with it because the guy's signature is really literally just a J and a dot. And through the first half of the year, man, we pulled that guy like crazy. I mean, every single product you opened, you hit Jamon Moore, and sometimes you might hit Jamon Moore several times in the same case in the same product and then we got to the second half of the year it calmed down a little bit we didn't get him quite as much mr sam darnold and the new york jets how about that new york jets woohoo that is number two 125 got your hard signed autograph two color relic and Darnold has been surprisingly hard to get out of contenders. I think he must be short printed in there. Uh, so it is nice to see him making an appearance over here in Limited. Chad Thomas, that is numbered to 199 for the Browns. Darnold is probably the reason that we got the points card, you know. Usually those points cards, when you hit one, means you've got a a big player hit somewhere on the horizon. So I'd say it was probably him. To 49, the Bengals and Joe Mixon. Let's see, Dirty Dog says, oh, we haven't had the big hit yet. Ah, see, I'm thinking they're going to count Darnold as the big hit. Although you never know. You never know. It could still be Baker in there or something as a redemption too. It could be both. Rookie Phenom's Jaleel Scott to 99, Baltimore Ravens. And our last little base card out of that box for some reason. I had him shuffled back there on the, on the back side, I guess. Jay Allen says he needs the Titans. He wants the Titans to be on one of those redemptions. So we'll have to see if we can conjure up a Titan. Right now you've got a Big stack of five of them up there. Yes, Jay Allen, points are done as a hit replacement. That is correct. But, I mean, again, usually there, when you get those hits replaced, it usually happens because there's a big hit somewhere in the case. In other words, Panini wants there to be a certain amount of money in each case that they send out. 
So they pay different people different amounts of money for their autographs, right? So the more desirable players and the players that are drafted higher are paid more than players who are drafted lower. You know, guys like Tom Brady are going to charge more to sign than, a, than guys like, you know, James Conner. This is numbered 250, Christian Kirk and the Arizona Cardinals hard signed auto and relic. But the deal is, of course, you got to balance all that out. So to keep their case, what they have invested in autographs in each case, where they need it to be, they will often take, when you have a big signer, i.e. an expensive signature in there, they will mitigate some of that cost by replacing another hit with a points card. Jalen Samuels and the Pittsburgh Steelers, number two, well, why can't I turn that the right way? Numbered to 35. I had it right the first time and flipped it around the wrong way. Good grief. So, yeah. So, usually that's why when I tell you guys if we see a points card and we haven't seen a big hit yet, that's usually why I think um, that there's a hit coming because typically those two things correspond. Not always, but usually. To 99, Deshaun Watson and the Texans. There is another Bronco. It's Cortland Sutton again. The Browns bitter needs Baker Mayfield. All right. Well, let's try to conjure up Baker Mayfield here in this last box. Let's do a little last box mojo magic. And let's hope that we have got Baker Mayfield in here and or in the redemptions. One or the other. Duke City Girl thinks it's going to be... Uh, Rosen as a, will be one of the redemptions and that Baker Mayfield will be. Dirty Dog says it's going to be uh, Sony Michelle and Derwin James and Bradley Chubb. That's who he says the redemptions are going to be. And Dirty Dog is saying our big hit was the three dual autographs. Yeah, yeah I don't know that I, I... I mean, I wouldn't count that as like a big, big hit, but... But maybe, I guess. Ronald Jones, that is numbered to 299, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You've got a nice little, barely eked in an extra color down there. So we've got five colors on your relic and hard signed autograph for Tampa Bay. A little bit of a rough corner down there, uh, both lower left and lower right with some imperfections. On your corners, that's numbered to 99, Zacherts, Phillies. Jordan needs a Joe Montana. He does. He does need a Joe Montana. And Dirty Dog says he wants to see Philip Lindsay. Glenn needs the Patriots. Michael needs Saquon. Cam needs Roquan Smith. You guys need a lot. You guys got a lot of mojo requests. We're going to try to get them all in, though. To 50. Kyle Laletta, Giants, nice relic. Wish it was Saquon, though. Maybe he's one of our redemptions. And, hey, another redemption. Imagine that. Are you shocked <laughs> at this point that we get another redemption? That was six of them now. Hmm, yeah, a whole little factory of redemptions. Okay, so here's how this is going to flow. We're going to flip over these redemptions here in a second. We're going to take a look at them. Probably we'll know exactly where they go, but we're still going to head over to the Panini website, we'll put it up on the screen, and verify that the teams are correct as we think they are, and it will also give us an opportunity to see what each of these cards is going to be, or going to be numbered to, each of these redemptions. Then after we do that, we'll give away this 250 Panini Rewards Point card using random.org. After we do all of that, then we will recap our hits that were live in the product, all right? Um, Michael said he saw a 9 of 10 Joe Montana just get pulled in another, in another room. And then Jordan's saying Kalen Balazs, he thinks, is going to be a redemption. So first out, wow, it's Jalen Samuels. That's unexpected. Uh, rookie patch autograph variations. He has, up to this point in the year, been live and everything. But not anymore, apparently. So Steelers add one to their tally with Jalen Samuels. Next up, oh, well, okay, Jalen Samuels again. Steelers add two to their tally. 
but one was a variation and one is not but either way same player third out there's our man Hoo-hoo! rookie patch autograph silver spotlight saquon barkley Hoo-hoo! now you're talking now you're talking now i'm feeling happier about this case See how that works? See how that makes us feel so much happier <laughs> right away? Hayden Hurst comes out for the Ravens. Next up, it is DJ Moore. DJ Moore is a Panther. Now one left, and the one left is Hayden Hurst again. Uh, but that's a different card set anyway. It's RPA Silver Spotlight. The other one was, I think, just RPA. But either way, two Ravens, two Steelers, a Giant, and a Panther. So, let's go here. Not here. Let's go to the Tops website. And we're going to verify all of this stuff. Let me get us to, let me get myself to the right page. And then I can bring you with. All right, we need to find limited football and look all this stuff up. All right, so who? Do, let me look at these card sets real quickly. So that one's Rookie Patch Auto Spotlight, regular Rookie Patch Auto. That one's a variation. That's Silver Spotlight. That's regular, and this is variation. Okay, so that's going to make it a little, hopefully less painless <laughs> so our first card set we're going to go straight to the ones that just say rookie patch autographs if i can get down here and find them right there card 129 should be jalen samuels right there it is he will be numbered to 299 he is a stealer as we expected so he's all labeled up. Card number 137 is going to be Hayden Hurst. And there he is, Ravens as expected, also numbered to 299. So those are out of the way. Next, we're looking for Rookie Patch Autograph Variations is our card set coming up next. If I can get myself up there. Patch Autographs variations okay card number 151 dj moore carolina panthers to 199 next up will be jalen samuels card number 169 and jalen is numbered to 199 on this one now we're headed to the silver spotlight rookie patch autographs Silver Spotlight is our next card set up. Rookie Patch Autographs. I just saw this a minute ago. There it is right above where we are. Boy. All right. Card number 103. Mr. Saquon Barkley for the New York Giants is numbered to 75. Nice. And for the Ravens, Hayden Hurst is going to be card number 137. And he is also number 275. So all of our redemptions now happily verified and ready to rock. So here's where we're going to go next. I'm going to uh, take us, if I can get you to the right page, I'm take us back to our spreadsheet. And the reason we're doing this is because I'm going to copy all of our team names. And Jordan, there you can see where you picked up uh, your team as second chance. And, of course, you'll see yourself in there again in a minute when we get to the basketball break. So, we're going to go to random.org, and I will paste in all 32 teams that I just copied from the spreadsheet. So, anytime I have nine or fewer items in a list, we do random three times. When we have ten or more, like we do tonight, we do random once. Scrolling through so you can see all of your teams are there. Going to hit random one time. Whoever comes out in the number one position is going to get the 250 points card. So good luck, everybody. And it's going to the Bengals. Cincinnati Bengals get the 250 points card. So let me get this one labeled up real quickly. And then we are going to be ready to recap. All right. 
So Duke City Gal is uh, says she can't believe there is no Baker Mayfield in this one. Well, I know. We've been pulling a lot of Baker Mayfield lately, but it has been out of contenders. We've pulled a ton of Baker Mayfield contenders. Um, but, yeah, it wasn't, uh, wasn't in here. All right, so we'll recap our redemptions first. That nice Saquon Barkley. Woohoo! That was RPA silver spotlight to 75 for the Giants. You have another uh, uh, redemption here, and this is the RPA variation for the Panthers. DJ Moore to 199. This is another variation. Jalen Samuels for the Steelers to 199. RPA uh, Jalen Samuels Steelers to 299. RPA Ravens with Hayden Hurst to 299. Another Hayden Hurst. This one's Silver Spotlight. Ravens again to 75. And the Bengals got our 250 rewards points card by way of random.org. Our numbered cards 99, 99, 49, 99, 99, 99, 25. Yay. 49, 99, 49. Uh, that is also to 25 for the Seahawks. 99 and 99. So that's all the numbered stuff that doesn't have an autograph or a relic attached to it. Now, these are the autographs and relics. So Cortland Sutton to 99 for the Broncos, Christian Kirk to 50 for the Cardinals, Jaleel Scott to 99 Ravens, Sam Darnold numbered to 125 for the Jets, Justin Watson numbered to 199 for the Buccaneers. First one of many of these, that one is to 75, dual signatures for the Colts. Royce Freeman to 50 for the Broncos, uh, the Bills hit to 99, the Saints to 199 with Traquan Smith. Numbered to 50, there's Deshaun Hamilton and the Broncos. Then you have numbered to 50, Josh Rosen relic for the Arizona Cardinals. The Broncos with Cortland Sutton to 75, nice Mike White to 75 for the Cowboys, Alvin Kamara to 75 for the Saints, Carson Wentz to 80 for the Eagles. Michael Thomas, 75 Saints. Kyle Lawletta, numbered to 99 for the New York Giants. And this would be Kyle Lawletta again, but this one is to 50. A little nicer relic, too. Ronald Jones, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, to 299. Jalen Samuels, that is numbered. I do that every time. That is numbered to 35 for the Steelers. Did that the first time we looked at that card, I think. There is Chad Thomas to 199 for the Browns. The Bengals, Joe Mixon to 99. Darius Geis and the Redskins to 99. Deshaun Watson, Texans, number two. Oh, 50. It's like I keep, <laughs> I keep looking at them the opposite way that they should be facing the first time I look at them. Why am I doing that? To 50, Mark Walton and the Bengals, Cortland Sutton. That is for the Broncos to 20. Naheem Hines and the Colts, 99. The Vikings hit Tyler Conklin to 199. Ito Smith out for the Falcons to 199. Here's another dual signature. This one is to 50. Uh, again, Hines and Fountain. And then a third Heinz and Fountain, this one numbered to 75. So you have two of them to 75, one of them to 50, all three of them, both those guys. The nice Mason Rudolph to 50 for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Then we have Josh Allen to 75 for the Bills. Here's Justin Reed. Justin Reed is numbered to 149 for the Texans. Cortland Sutton to 299 for the Broncos. All right, so that is limited football. And um, Dirty Dog says you're surprised with a lot of duplicate hits. I mean, sometimes, guys, it happens with all of them. Tops, Panini, whatever. I mean, we've all 
complained about it so many times internally but i'm sure panini knows everybody hates it but i don't i don't know enough about how it works to know how they would control that how that would be fixed but it must not be easy to fix or i think they would have fixed it so i don't know jay allen says you didn't get any titans at all I did not pay attention to the base, guys, so I don't know if there's a Titan in the base or not. Um, Cam says, is there a Bears base? Same thing, guys. I am not sure on the base if there's... I didn't pay enough attention to that. But, of course, if it is that you did not get uh, a single card, you didn't pull anything at all, you will definitely get consolation cards from me, and, you know, maybe you'll have better, better luck with that. All right, so we are headed into Optic Basketball next, and once again, I am projecting the shipping date as Monday being the latest that it would go out. Now, if there's a possibility of me getting it out sooner, I absolutely will, and I will try very hard to do that, but the latest it should be on the way to you is Monday, and that applies to both Limited and Optic. So, of course, we just discussed the Constellation stuff again for Limited. For Optic, uh, every team is going to pull cards. There's, I don't know, probably 1,000, 1,200 cards in that case, something like that. It is a 12-box case of 1819 Optic Basketball. It's full case breaks, break number one. Cavaliers were our unpaid team. Jordan picked those up along with the team that he picked up in Limited. Thank you once again for that. And uh, same format that you all are accustomed to, team names on one side, the winning bidders across from each team on the opposite side. All right, so let's get that up, see what I need to catch up on chat. Um, Dirty Dog, you ask about the Saquon Barkley. I see Michael answered that, so we're good there. Greg, you need Mojo for Clippers and Trailblazers. Jay Allen needs Pistons, Pelicans, and Thunder. And... Um, Jay Allen, yeah, they do control the cost per case. I mean, that that is how they... Well, I'm going to assume that that is how Panini and Tops do it. That's how Upper Deck did it. I told you guys before I had a rep who, who worked at Upper Deck, and that was part of his job. So he's given me over the, over the years a lot of information about how different things work. And he's the one who explained all that format to me, that they have to, you know, the product designers have to figure out, like, here's, here's how much it's... It's not necessarily, I guess, totally per case, but it is like as an overall, like they'll say, here's our product and we're going to make a thousand cases of it. And we're going to, you know, your budget is X, Y, Z amount in autographs. And then they have to take that out, take that number and then keep it within basically that number. And so then they have to use these, in the case of Panini, they use these points cards and stuff to offset part of that cost when you have a high dollar signer in your, in your group. And typically it does seem to fall per case that that's how it works. So I believe that that's the way they all do it to the best of my knowledge. But now I don't think it's done on such a micro level that a person's like sitting there dictating and saying, this one's going to have Baker Mayfield and that one's going to have Saquon Barkley and that sort of thing. Just that, you know, okay, there's X number of dollars worth of autographs in here and then therefore points go in or however they figure it out. So I don't know. That's that's the extent of my of my knowledge of it is what my rep shared with me about how it's done and then of course we just on our own have noticed over the years that that's how the patterns tend to roll when you start seeing points cards it usually means there's there's a big hit coming somewhere so that's maybe not always but i'd say most of the time that's how that's how it rolls so All right, Jordan, you're right. We need to find you then a one-of-one one, uh, Colin Sexton or Mo Bamba. So you got the magic in here too. Okay. All right. Well, well, we'll work on that. You know I find a lot of Mo Bamba too, so I think that seems reasonable. Brody needs the 76ers. Ezekiel needs the Celtics. And, of course, um, guys, I think everybody's probably familiar with how Optic works, but in case someone isn't, there's one autograph per box. This is essentially 
the same product that we saw earlier in the year that was regular Don Russ, except it has this fancy little coating on it, which uh, Topps calls chrome and Panini calls optochrome. Yeah, how about that? And then, of course, uh, this the card brand in this case is optic, but what they technically call the coating is optochrome. Anyway, so it's going to be essentially the same look that we saw in regular Don Russ basketball. It's just that it's got a little coating on it. All right, so Jay Allen, you are off to bed. You need Pistons, Pelicans, and Thunder. All right, let's do it. Let's do it to it. Make it happen. We will try our very, very best. And, of course, we've got to make sure that, uh, that Michael doesn't get divorced, right? Michael, it is you, right, that you said you, <laughs> your wife's going to divorce you if you don't hit big in here. Isn't that right? <laughs> so we, got, we have to make sure we keep Michael married. So that, that's important, too. So we'll work on all of those mojo requests and see what we can figure out. Loads of inserts. That's empty, by the way. Loads of inserts and things in here, too. And again, it's going to be the kind of pretty much the same stuff we saw uh, in the original Don Russ cards, just updated with the coating. This is Marshawn Brooks. Looks like it's got a little dent in it, perhaps a little indentation there for the Grizzlies. And it is numbered to 149. So my assumption is every time we see that green parallel, it's probably going to be to 149. But we'll find out as we roll through here. If we see anything any different for the Bucks, there's a prism. And a heart-to-heart -heart insert. Let's just make sure. I don't think that's going to be numbered now. But did have a little, a little reflective coating on the back there. So I thought, eh, better safe than sorry. Always good to look the first time through. Didn't we just get you an Anthony Davis autograph real recently, Jay Allen? We did pull one recently, didn't we? I'm not crazy, am I? No, we got, we got Anthony Davis in something. But I take it it wasn't yours then, maybe? Carl Anthony Towns, number 279 for the T-Wolves. DeAndre Ayton, the rookie's insert. I always kind of like that insert. And there is a Prism Brandon Knight for the Rockets. We have a blue rated rookie, Amari Spellman. That one's numbered to 49. And, ooh, we have a, a gold rated rookie. Or is it orange? I can never tell orange. That looks orange. Orange and gold with Panini. The first time I look at them, I get them opposite about half the time. That's number 199, and it's orange. And you all are sitting there like going, do you not know the difference between orange and, uh, and gold? Well, I do, but something about the way the light hits them for... Panini's colors, there's, I don't know, half the time, the first time I look at orange, I think it's gold. It's a little more def definitive uh, difference when you see it in tops. So our autograph out of our first box is going to be for the Bulls. It's Chandler Hutchison, rated rookie. And doesn't look like it's going to be numbered, but there's the Bulls uh, striking first tonight. And right behind that, at least we have a Luca Prism rated rookie. So that's not, not a bad way to start. It's always good to see a Luca variation of any sort, really. All right, so let's. Uh, now we need to see that Luca with an autograph. I think that's what we need to see that. A little Marvin Bagley, some Trey Young. Robert, who is who's the Celtics? Is that Robert Williams you're looking for? I always get the rookie for the Celtics and the rookie for the Warriors. I always want to switch up their their names as to which one goes where. But anyway, maybe some Shea Gilgis Alexander, some Kevin Knox, 
course, Colin Sexton, Mo Bamba. There's a bunch. We've got a bunch of good guys this year. Greg, you said I spelled football wrong. What are you talking about? Um, what do you mean, brother? When you said I spelled football wrong on what? You got to be more specific. You know I'm prone to making typos here and there. Jay Allen found a couple in my listings. I had gone off the rails again and listed uh, football teams with with baseball. Football names with baseball. So I meant to say Los Angeles uh, Angels and Dodgers. And I had listed them as the Los Angeles Chargers and Rams in, in a baseball break. Yeah. Louis Dampierre for the Spurs. He was a big time guy from my alma mater the University of Kentucky. And we have a Miles Bridges rated rookie prism. Uh, retro series. Yeah, those still are not uh, those still are not numbered. But I just, you know, again, first time through. I like to make sure. Hassan Whiteside in the heat to 149. On the break label for what break? Which break are you talking about, Greg? You mean like one that I uploaded? Like last night or something? And like a headline or whatever? I can go fix it after the fact. I can't fix it right now, of course. But if you can let me know what night it was on, that would help me find it. And then I will go in and fix it after. After the break, we'll do a little editing and fix my typo. Okie dokie. Let's see what we've got from this point. A Prism uh, Dennis Smith Jr. for the Mavericks. Apparently he's a little trade bait. Zaire Smith, 76ers, rated rookie, Prism Green to 149. And then a Prism Lillard. I tell you what, guys, hang on one second. I want to... I want to create a separate little spot here for a couple of these things that I might not have uh, ordinarily wouldn't recap if they're not really high numbered. But uh, I am, I think, going to make a little spot to recap some of our rated rookie stuff, even that's not low numbered. Wesley Matthews coming out low numbered, relatively speaking, to 39, I think that says. Yeah. For the Mavericks, Jason Tatum base. So yeah, the whole thing with Optic, of course, is just the number of packs. We spend more time opening packs than we do looking at cards. But that's, of course, the case with a lot of things that we break. And I saw where Lonzo Ball's uh, camp has come out and said he doesn't want to go to the Pelicans, you know, because like we've all, I think, seen what the rumors are that they're going to, that the Lakers are going to go hard after Anthony Davis. This is to 199 Eric Gordon and the Rockets, and uh, that for the Pelicans to even listen to the Lakers offer, they're apparently going to have to offer, like, you know, Kuzma and Ball and a couple of their other young guys and some draft picks and everything else. And so soon, like, almost immediately after that news broke, within a few hours, <laughs> Juanzo Ball's group, probably, you know, probably his dad, that's usually who it ends up being, comes out and says, Juanzo doesn't want to go to New Orleans. So then all the other speculation turns into, oh, now it's going to be a, a Lakers, Suns, New Orleans 
three team break of some, I mean, break, three team trade of some sort. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure New Orleans is going to do something with him now that he's told them he's definitely not going to re-sign with them. Why, you know, they're not going to let him walk in free agency and get nothing for him. But I think it's also going to make it hard to trade him to anybody but the Lakers since he's pretty much said that's where he wants to play. And, you know, so think about it. If you're another team... And you know he's going to be a free agent after after the season. You're not going to trade a bunch of, of your good assets, you know, and, and try to get him when he's basically a rental. So it's kind of tied their hands, I think. I think they're going to have to trade with the Lakers. And again, maybe they will tie in another team. But I think the interesting part will be, are they going to do it before the trade deadline or are they going to wait and not deal with it until after the season and just tank out the rest of the season and get a good draft pick next year? And here's Sergey to 79 for the Raptors. I mean, truly, with the way Zion Williamson looks, um, I might be inclined to just say, yeah, trade him now, tank it, and hope you end up with that number one spot, right? <laughs> Lonnie Walker for the Spurs with a Dominator uh, signature there. So it was last night's video that has the uh, has the typo in it. All right, cool, guys. I will go in and fix that. Obviously, I didn't look at it after it uploaded um, and hadn't been in there at all today. So I had not even seen that. So thank you, Greg, and, uh, for pointing out that there was a typo. And thank you, Buckeye, for telling me which night it is. And then I will, after this break, go in there and fix it. Fix our little typo. Giannis for the Bucks to 199. Little Milwaukee action. Luca Base. Clint Capella Rockets Prism. And is Marvin Bagley back yet, guys? Is he still out or is he um is he back in action. I mean, it seems like he's been out for a while. If he's, I would think he would be back by now, but I haven't really seen him come across on any stat lines recently, so maybe he is still out. Anybody follow the Kings closely enough to, uh, to know the answer to that? you know when the when the and and Aiton's been injured too so I mean you know you've got these top guys at the top end of the draft they were one and two and when they miss parts of even when they just miss a few games I think it kind of throws the rookie class into disarray a little bit that was a Chandler Hutchison rated rookie prism that went by and here is a rated rookie Anthony Simons for the Blazers that one is numbered to 199. And let's go ahead and get our Prism Chandler Hutchison all ready to go as well. Russell Westbrook Prism for the Thunder. Green John Collins to 149 for the Atlanta Hawks. Yeah, I got so frustrated today, though, on that PRISM website because this is the second or third release in a row where I've had the same problem. I mean, as soon as it goes live, I get it. I have it in my cart. There's no problem getting it in my cart. I check out. I mean, I'm most of my information is stored. The only thing that they don't store is my credit card number. It takes me maybe 30 seconds to get to where you type in the credit card, 15 seconds to get the credit card typed in and hit Submit. And in that 45 seconds, they sell out. 
and it just frustrates the life out of me. Like, I wish once you had it in your cart, they should at least give you 60 seconds or 90 seconds to check out. Because what happens is you get these, I mean, you know who buys it all. It's the people at Blowout and those type places where they can have, you know, 50 people that work for them all sitting on a computer or running a program, more likely, or running a bot that just immediately grabs it and buys it, and there you go, and then nobody else is getting any. And so I find that super frustrating. And it used to be, if I checked out through the app, that my payment information was also stored, and you could check out really fast through the app, and I had better luck. And then they disabled that feature, I don't know, several months ago. It said they were going to bring it back, but they never did. It was called Instant Buy. And so now, same thing happens. Happened to me on Contenders. Happened to me today on Limited. I think it happened to me on one other thing, too. I can't even remember what it was now, but, you know, you can't, can't check out hardly any faster than, like, 45 seconds. <laughs> Still too slow to get the product, which is crazy. But... Anyway, I tried to get us some more today and did not have any luck with it. Dirk Nowitzki to $1.99 for the Mavericks. And this is a rated rookie Jerome Robinson for the Clippers to $1.99. And it's a big difference, too, in last year and this year. Last year's first off-the-line stuff, some of it you could get way after the fact, days or even weeks after the fact, to 149. That's Clint Capella and the Rockets. And that has certainly not been the case this year. Everything sells out almost instantly. So they're either making a lot less or a lot more people are buying it or some combination thereof, probably more likely. But I think in general, they've been making less of most things. Brandon Ingram, Prism for the Lakers. Certainly seems like quantities on just about everything have been cut way back. Even this year from last year. And last year was impossible in basketball. This year's not much better. You would think it would be, but it's not. I'm kind of anxious to see what the new football product's going to look like. That uh, the Panini One that's going to be out before too awfully long. I think that looks kind of cool, and I'm glad they're bringing honors back. And it looks like they've updated it a little bit too. So not only are they going to have honors again, I, it looks like they've made some improvements over the last time we had honors, which was in 2016. So in addition to the buyback cards, they're taking cards from couple of other card set score and something adding rookie signatures to them and then giving them this chrome coating to 99 Enos Cantor for the Knicks and those are going to be mixed in there and I forgot what else they said was different Kevin Durant prism for the Warriors uh, retro series numbered to 10 there's a little gold finally for the 76ers with Manute Bowl. J.R. Smith and the Cavaliers, another Chandler Hutchison. So if you have the Bulls tonight, you now have a bookend of Chandler Hutchison. Justin Jackson, rated rookie for the Magic on uh, Prism Parallel. And what do we got left? We're not to our halfway point yet. No, we still got six. Yeah, we got eight boxes left, so we're... Four down at the moment. Limited took longer than I thought it would, considering there's not that many cards in there. I guess because we had to look up all those redemptions and all that stuff. Oh, and I forgot to tell you all this. You know, we have been discussing at various points over the last uh, couple of months here what tops exactly is sending people when you have these expired redemptions 
so i know a couple of you had reported you know somebody said oh they they sent them like a little goodie box and somebody got memorabilia somebody got packs i think um anyway one of our one of the bidders who pulled an expired tops redemption maybe out of one of our mixers but it hasn't anyway it hasn't been that long ago he he called them and that's always the way to do it with tops when they're expired call customer service and they told him where to mail it and all that stuff so he mailed it in and he said it took three weeks after he mailed it in for him to get his package back and they gave him a really nice hit it was um a mike evans rookie autograph uh, i think it had a patch on it too can't remember what the numbering was on it and what was the card set he told me the card set and i forgot it valor maybe maybe valor but anyway i thought that was pretty nice little mike evans you know rookie ink uh with a i think it had a patch and a relatively low number so that's what they sent him for whatever his expired redemption was so apparently, there are still some cards that they're sending out. They're not all packs or memorabilia or, you know, random stuff. So apparently, they've got at least a few football cards hanging around there that they're willing to send out. So that might be some useful information to have when we pull those expired tops things prism uh rajon rondo lakers buddy healed to 199 kings rated rookie prison prism mitchell robinson for the knicks but I was glad to see, you know, that Tops is still getting stuff out for them because at various points I had heard people say they had stopped doing expired ones and all kinds of different things. So at least we have some current experience because he just got this card, just sent it in and just got it. So, and Dwight Howard comes out number 239 for the Wizards. Still seems weird that Dwight Howard's with the Wizards. Drew Holiday, Prism, Pelicans. And there's a nice hit for the Grizzlies with Jaron Jackson Jr. on a Dominator card set. And where's their numbering? There it is on the back to 10. So it is number 3 of 10, Jaron Jackson Jr. and the Memphis Grizzlies. So that is a very nice hit if you got the Grizz tonight. It's a nice hit even if you don't have the Grizzlies, but you know what I mean. That was Paul George for the Thunder. Chris Stapps to 199, Knicks. That is Retro Pistol Pete Maravich for the Hawks on a Prism. And green to 149, Tony Parker, Charlotte Hornets. All those greens are to 149, so I figure we don't have to keep flipping them, right? Just slows down the process when we do that. This box that's uh, coming out right now represents the halfway point. So once we get this open and look through these, we'll be uh, exactly halfway through our case of optic. So has anybody seen much in the way of 2019 Series 1? Have you gotten a feel for what's coming out of there that looks good? I, I didn't watch any breaks today. I was very busy sorting and shipping all day long and did not have time to watch any. I am anxious to get in there, though. I do think, uh, I, you know, I'm excited to get into the new baseball year. I 
I would like to have done it tonight too, but we would have had to have either done a half case of optic instead of a whole case, or we would have had to have started way earlier to also work in the the 19 series one. Because that's a fairly long break too, those jumbos take, well even so, even that's probably, even though the packs are designed in a way where you can go through the base really quickly, probably still takes 45 minutes to an hour to do a half case, hour and a half to two hours to do a full one. Oh, Greg, you did not see anything good come out of 2019 Series 1. Okay, well, it's, uh, you know, any anytime you do a, a, a break with a lot of base cards, I mean, it's kind of rough to set through them all. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't matter what it is, it, that part is, the taking them out of the packs is just watching paint dry. It's awful. And, of course, flipping through tons of base cards, probably not anybody's idea of a great time either. So, yeah, I understand that. But the hits we like, this one is Musa for the Nets. So, yeah, that's mainly what I was saying, Greg, was did you see any, you know, exciting, any good hits come out? But I'm assuming you also mean there were no good hits in the breaks you saw. <laughs> Jalen Brunson, Rated Rookie Prism, Mavericks. That looks like that should be numbered. I don't know if it's going to be or not, but it looks like it should be. It is to 49, Mr. John Wall. With an all-heart insert. And uh, the Washington Wizards. Now was uh, Jokic, Prism for the Nuggets, to 149, Eric Bledsoe, Milwaukee Bucks. It's crazy to think about that pitchers and catchers are, you know, due to report here in like a couple weeks, 10 days, two weeks, something like that, 10 days maybe. And how cold it still is. <laughs> like, they are not going to have fun. It is not going to feel like spring training. It's going to feel like middle of winter. Bogdanovic to 99 for the Pacers. Oh, yeah, Greg. I mean, there's there's always a ton of cards in uh, Hazanga. Knicks, Prism. Series 1, Series 2, Update. Uh, Bowman draft, uh, you know, Bowman, regular Bowman, not Bowman Chrome, but regular Bowman. There's tons of, uh, tons of baseball. Gypsy Queen, Alan and Ginter, I mean, almost all of the baseball has, not almost all of it, but a lot of it has a lot of base cards. Jarrett Allen to 49 for the Nets. Of course, we have a lot of basketball and football that do, too, like the one we're opening right now, as a matter of fact. Jerome Robinson Clippers to 199 rated rookie. Russell Westbrook Thunder. And that's the halfway point. Yeah, I can't remember the exact, because they changed the card count. They didn't change it by a lot, but they changed it a small amount on top Series 1. Um, I think it was before that a half case was 1,500 cards. I think that's right, of Jumbo. Hobby, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Jumbo half case what was 1500 a full case 3000 and now of course they took out not many like uh maybe took out i think 40 cards a box out of jumbo so I mean, you're not going to save much maybe end up with like 1380 cards instead of 1500 or something that's not um you know not a whole lot of a difference when you're talking about that many.
Yeah, I know. I'm with you, Greg. Definitely still waiting to see what Manny Machado and Bryce Harper do. I mean, it's uh, unexpected that they're both still sitting out there. I'm not totally surprised that Bryce Harper's still sitting out there, primarily because his number's big. Not just his per-year number, his, the fact that he's also looking for a 10-year deal at that number. You know, there's a, and the fact that he was coming off of a little bit of a down year. I mean, even so, Bryce Harper's down year is better than a lot of people's best year, but those things kind of combine, I think, to mess with his market value a little bit. And then, of course, Machado did not help himself any in that interview. Well, I'm never going to be Charlie Hustle. <laughs> ah, good to know. <laughs> Please, let's all line up to pay you $30 million a year when you just say, eh, sometimes I'm not going to feel like running to first base after I hit. <laughs> I don't know what some of these guys are thinking. But they'll, they'll obviously end up with good deals, I mean, and they're going to make plenty of money and just going to run down to the wire. And I believe the general consensus was that they would go both go pretty early in free agency, and certainly that has not been the case. So D'Angelo Russell Prism. That's to 199 Zach Levine and the Bulls. That uh, Musa is numbered to 99 for the Nets on a little rated rookie there. But yeah, we'll be interested to see how it all plays out. But I would like them just to go on and get it done. I just want to know where they're going. They probably want to know where they're going. To 149 for the Bucks, Brogdon. And there's Robin Lopez and the Bulls. That one is numbered to 49. The blue parallel. Bulls hit again. At least you have a different player this time. Wendell Carter Jr. is your player on the what I believe is the third Bulls autograph, isn't it? Marvin Bagley rated rookie prism. Sacramento Kings. Dwayne Wade and the Heat. James Harden and the Rockets, both prisms. All righty. We're rolling right along. Doesn't it feel like there are, it feels like there are a lot more than 80 cards in each one of these boxes just because of how many packs you have to open to get to those 80 cards. <laughs> yeah, this is another one where the price went up by, I guess, 50%. They increased it by 50% the day it came out. They do that every year with Optic, though. It doesn't even matter whether it's Optic Baseball, Optic Football, Optic Basketball. They always jump that price immediately when it releases. You know, it's kind of Panini's answer for foam in the tops line, so everybody, kind of, everybody wants it, so... Supply and demand always rules the roost. Dirty dog, what did you say is the holy grail? You just typed in holy grail. So I'm thinking like Monty Python. We are the knights who say me. We want shrubbery. I'm sure that's not what you meant though. So you have to tell me what Holy Grail you are talking about. Mm 
you watched a redemption pulled from Limited that was Tom Brady, Joe Montana, Aaron Rodgers, and Peyton Manning one of one booklet. Wow. I, I would see why that would be one of one. That is a fantastic hit, man. Yeah, uh, that, I'm sure, you know, the bad part of that, though, is uh, three people lost that in a, in a random. <laughs> only, only one person got to take that home, and three teams walked away really sad, and one team walked away really happy. Malik Monk Hornets to 199. But yeah, man, that is an incredibly nice pull for sure. Lou Williams Clippers Prism. That is number 249. Andrew Wiggins T Wolves All Heart Blue Parallel. Yeah, exactly. You're saying the same thing I'm saying. It has to be has to be given out by way of random. I mean, that's the rough part of it. Kevin Knox, rated rookie to 49, the blue parallel. Yeah, I've often thought about over the years other ways that that could be done so that you didn't have to rely on random, but there's really no other good way to do it. Dirk Nowitzki, Dominator for the Mavericks. A lot of graph coming to Dallas. A rated rookie prism for Mikhail Bridges and the Phoenix Suns. You know, I mean, at one point I thought about, well, you could just give it to, like, the highest priced team on the card, right? Like, so if somebody had paid $1,000 to get their spot and somebody else had paid $25 to get their spot, then the $1,000 team would, you know, get it. For the Raptors, that is Kawhi Leonard, and it is numbered to 99. But no one liked that idea. <laughs> everybody, everybody was up in arms when I threw that out as a possible as a possibility a few years ago. Kyrie Irving, Celtics, Prism, Carroll for the Nets. I mean, it kind of makes sense in that regard, like about the if you pay the most type thing. But I definitely saw the other side of it because people were like, well, yeah, but it takes all the fun out of it. And then it means you don't ever have a chance if you have one of the lower price teams. You would never have a chance to get one of the better cards. I mean, everybody had really good points. And obviously, I never changed it. It's to 199 CJ McCollum Trailblazers. But just over the years, I had just tried to think of different ways to do it besides random. Because I always hate when the team, you know, on a really nice card like that one, the three teams that don't get it, man, you just feel awful for them. Because you know what it's like to lose out on that. It's just terrible. Well, yeah, Dirty Dog, I mean, it's tough. Anytime you get... Uh, more than one team on a card, you definitely are running the risk of not ending up with it. And, and that that is not fun. Unless you're the one who gets it. <laughs> then it's fun. But a lot of our really nice hits are that way. But that is a, that's a fantastic hit out of Limited, though. Brady, Montana, Rogers, and Manning. Quite a nice little lineup. I wish that had been live in the product. Love to get a look at that thing. Although I'm sure whoever hit it, probably when they do get it, they'll probably sell it, would be my guess. Let's just look at what we have and then we'll come then we'll come back and look at the rest of them. Dante DiVincenzo, rated rookie prism, hard signed autograph for Milwaukee, the Bucks, Saric Prism. Yeah, 
everybody's uh, tearing through limited today for sure. Justin Jackson rated Ricky Prism Magic. Rated rookie DeAnthony Melton to 39 Phoenix Suns. Justin Jackson uh, for the Suns to 199. Jamal Murray Nuggets Prism. Oh, yeah, Dirty Dog, I don't think you'd have to worry about that one not getting redeemed. I'm I'm sure Panini will get that one turned around fairly quickly. If there was a holdup, it would be Brady, but he signed... I don't know if, this, if that particular card you're talking about was hard signed or sticker, but he signed for them, what, last year, within the last six or nine months anyway so i'm sure they have his uh, sticker autos around there but if this is a hard signed one then yeah you'd probably have to wait until brady signed the next time i think he only signs for them once a year not just them i think like in general i think he does one big signing session like once a year it's what someone told me anyway Jerome Robinson and the Clippers to 149 rated rookie green. So that might very well be the hold up. Because, you know, you figure Peyton, they probably have not a lot of trouble with him. They wouldn't have a lot of trouble with Joe Montana because they both sign regularly, neither actively playing. I guess Aaron Rodgers could hold him up too, but but I think Brady is the one who signs the least amount of those out of those guys. Yeah, Dirty Dog. I mean, this product is just uh, it just takes a while to get through it. You know, they put so many packs in every box. There's not that many cards per box. It's just once again we spend all of our time opening the flipping packs where all of our time goes but I mean optic is a pretty reliable product it, it's going to be the same just about every year and across all the sports you know it's the it's the standard that we've already seen so it's Don Russ basketball just with the coating on it but same same general uh Insert set, sets and all that stuff. MJM. How are you, MJM? We could have hit some kings in numbered stuff or parallels. We have not hit kings in autographs. I do not keep track of the um, numbered and, and parallels like mentally I don't keep track of the teams that are in there I do well honestly to remember the teams that are in the autograph hits but, but we recap we recap recap that of course at the end the uh, autograph hits and I did separate out our rated rookie parallels tonight for the most part too so we'll probably recap those too I'll always sort those out but I did tonight for whatever reason so so there you go for the Jazz. And that's going to be numbered. Hang on a second. No, I get Yeah, it is. To 99, All-Stars, Carl Anthony Towns. Sometimes I have to look at those twice on the inserts. Rudy Gobert, Jazz, 149 green. 199, Kimball Walker and the Hornets, the orange parallel. Yeah, I know, Dirty Dog. You know, we always want more autographs out of all these products. But, of course, that would come with a, a trade-off as well. Then you'd have higher price points and all kinds of other things. So, 
a lot of the things that are appreciated in optic are in addition to the autographs you know you get some of the velocities and things that can be worth a little money that is to 79 musa and the nets rated rookie so some of these rated rookie parallels will still bring you bring you a little money even without an autograph that was the pacers bogdanovic coming up our autograph hit for this box is the trailblazers it's and anthony simons I believe that's a dominate well it is a dominator it's also to 10 and what i was going to say is i believe that is our second autograph to 10 tonight uh, so we've been doing well in that regard out of this case there's a gary trent jr uh rated rookie prism um Dirty Dog Luca was a parallel, like a, a rated rookie prism, but no autographs for him out of here. Carmelo Anthony to 190, 149, sorry, green parallel 149. At least not yet. We still have a little bit to look at. Well, I wouldn't say, I mean, you say the Browns took a hit again. I wouldn't say, uh, like, again. The Browns have been doing really, really well. I mean, we've hit Baker Mayfield out of contenders, like, out of maybe all but one case that we've opened. And we've hit, uh, we've hit Baker pretty frequently all year. So, especially, it seems like, in the last few months. We've, since about XR onward, we've hit Baker quite a bit. Um, and actually, we've hit Luca several times, too, but we just haven't hit him in the last couple weeks, maybe last week or two. He'll probably show up somewhere soon out of either Crown or Optic, or both. Harrison Barnes, Prism for the Mavericks. Plus, he could still show up tonight. I mean, we still have two more boxes. You guys give up so soon. You give up so early. Yeah, well, this week, um, this week, I don't know, what have we opened this week, football-wise, that Baker wasn't in, other than limited tonight. But yeah, basketball, we hit uh, Aiton, obviously, was our big hit. With those uh, two Aitons came out of that half case of Prism Retail. And I don't even remember who all we hit in Crown Royal. I know I should remember, but I don't. And I know, you guys all think, like, how can you not remember it? Ah, as I see a lot of cards. Like, a lot, lot. Not just what I break at night, but what I sort and ship every day. And it all kind of just blends into one at some point. It's hard to remember what came out of what product on what day for who and all that kind of stuff. I was hoping to track down a little more Leaf Best of Football, but I haven't had any luck there either. We opened, of course, another case of that last night. I don't think I can... I don't really think I've got a line on anymore, at least not anymore that's reasonably priced. Unless some turns up somewhere. Next to last box, Hassan Whiteside Prism for the Heat. That is a green Mitchell Robinson. New York Knicks to 149. Chris Stapps, Knicks. Did 
Did you see where Clay Thompson said that he would consider going to the Lakers if the Lakers land Anthony Davis? I thought that was interesting. Break up that little juggernaut of the Golden State Warriors. Would not have expected that. Eric Bledsoe, Milwaukee Bucks signature series. That's a couple of hits in here for the Bucks. Because you had your rookie a minute ago. This guy, Dante DiVincenzo. There he is on a rated rookie prism. Number to 99, DeAnthony Melton, rated rookie. Prism LaMarcus Aldridge for the Spurs. And there is Chandler Hutchison to 199, rated rookie for the Bulls. Black Velocity Otto Porter Jr., Wizards. Number to 39. Whoops, hang on. We left him hanging there. Mr. Evan Fournier. All right, it is last box mojo time. Let's get after it and get some big hits out of this last box. Need some big fiery hits to warm it up, don't we? Because, man, is it cold outside. And I feel kind of bad complaining about that because I know almost everybody has it worse than I have it. I mean, today... I don't know. I think our low was like, I don't know, three, four, five degrees, something like that, maybe. And the wind chill was maybe minus 10. But then I had a friend who had to fly to Chicago today for a work thing. She was hoping her flight was going to get canceled. So many of them did. She was flying out of New York. Hers was one of three flights the entire day that they actually got to Chicago. <laughs> And she gets there, and it's minus, I don't remember, minus 27 or minus 28, something like that was the actual air temperature. And then with the wind chill, it was minus 50-something. She said it was unbelievable. Like, she couldn't even put into words how cold it was. And I know she's not even the worst. Some uh, up in Minnesota and other places have it even worse than than she's in right now in Chicago, so I know I shouldn't complain as long as we're above zero, but mercy, mercy cold out there. Hi, Griffin. You went to see the Harlem Globetrotters tonight. Awesome. I have not seen the Globetrotters in years. It has been a long, long time since I have seen them. But they were always fun to watch. Um, and actually, my UPS driver, his, I think it's his cousin, was a Harlem Globetrotter for a while. I don't know if he still is or not, but I think he was for a while. He was for a while, anyway. Maybe still. Well, Griffin, I'm glad you had fun tonight seeing the Globe Trotters. Victor Oladipo, Pacers. Bruce Brown coming out for the Detroit Pistons is our final autograph out of this case of Optic. And, of course, uh, we will recap after we finish looking through these last few cards here. That's a rated rookie prism for the T-Wolves with Okoji. Okoji. Enos Cantor, Knicks, 99. And we're not going to recap all of our numbered cards because there's quite a few of them. But what we will recap, uh, of course, the autographs and then the rated rookie or any of the rookie variations, basically, and some of the lower numbered stuff. Bogdanovic, Kings, it's to 149, Zach Levine and the Bulls, 
Prism Kyle Lowry and the Raptors. DeMar DeRozan to 199 for the Spurs. That might be uh, numbered. Yeah, the 99 Draymond Green for the Warriors. Clay Thompson for the Warriors to 49 blue parallel. And that is that. That is the that's the live stuff. So let's get our little let's get our little recap pile up here. How nice though, right? To not have a redemption. We didn't get hit with any redemptions in here after getting hit with so many and limited. All right, so we have Black Velocity for the Wizards, Otto Porter Jr. to 39. You have Pink Velocity Musa for the Nets to 79. Black Velocity D'Anthony Melton, 39. And the Suns, Black Velocity for the Wizards, Dwight Howard to 39. We have a gold uh, ball, Manute Ball to 10 for the 76ers. Black Velocity Wesley Matthews to 39 for the Mavericks and Amari Spellman rated rookie to 49 for the Hawks on the uh, purple parallel I think that one is. T-Wolves rated rookie prism the Bulls to 199 to 99 DeAnthony Melton and the Suns prism for the Bucks. Rated rookie green to 149, Mitchell Robinson. Prism Gary Trent Jr. That is green, Jerome Robinson to 149. Prism for the Magic, Justin Jackson. Rated rookie prism, Mikhail Bridges. Kevin Knox there is to 49, the blue parallel of rated rookie. There's a Marvin Bagley rated rookie prism. Musa rated rookie to 49, Jerome Robinson to 199, Jalen Brunson prism, Mitchell Robinson prism, Justin Jackson prism, Jerome Robinson 199, Chandler Hutchison prism, Anthony Simons 199, Michaelic and the Lakers to 199, Zaire Smith for the 76ers to 149, there's the Luka rated rookie prism. And hang on a second. Is that on the sleeve? What is that? Must have been on the sleeve. I saw a little white dot. Yeah, it must have, it must have come off the card. Regardless, we're going to put a different sleeve on it. You know, the edges of any... Ah, it's the wrong size. The edges of any of these uh, type cards, chrome and prism, they flake off little pieces off the edge of the card for some weird reason. And it always looks like little grains of salt. And I usually, if I see them like I did that one, Miles Bridges for the Hornets, I will, you know, trade them out, trade out the sleeves and get them out of there. But if you ever do see it, that's what it is. And you can typically just blow it off if you want. Doesn't really hurt it. I just don't like it really particularly myself. Bruce Brown and the Pistons. Eric Bledsoe for the Bucks. This one is number to 10. Anthony Simons and the Portland Trailblazers in the Gold Dominators parallel. Dante DiVincenzo, hard signed Milwaukee Bucks. There's a Dirk Nowitzki Dominator for the Mavericks, numbered to 25. Wendell Carter Jr., that one is a Prism, uh, hard signed for the Bulls. Musa, hard signed for the Nets. This was nice for the Grizzlies. Jaron Jackson Jr. Dominator Gold Parallel to 10 for the Grizzlies. Chandler Hutchison Bulls. A Dominator Lonnie Walker for the Spurs. That is also a Gold Parallel to 10. I didn't realize we had three of them in here to 10, but we did. Not too bad. Louis Dampierre Dominator Spurs. And then Chandler Hutchison Prism Variation for the Bulls. All right, kids, that is our break for tonight. I will put up spreadsheet information here one final time. For anybody who might have missed it earlier, we'll take a little peek at what your anticipated shipping date is, and then we'll also take a look at what's breaking in the days ahead. Uh, so once again, projecting Monday as the latest. This stuff that we broke tonight will go out the door to you. Hopefully it's going to go sooner. I'm going to try really hard to get it out to you faster than that. But Monday should be the latest that it is on the way to your doorstep. 
Now, next up, what we're breaking days ahead. So tomorrow night, we're going to do Optic again, but just in a half case, because we're also going to do a half case of Top Series 1 Jumbo, and that'll take us a while tomorrow, uh, as well as a pair of mini football helmets that we'll bust into Thursday night. On Friday night, it'll be a TriStar Game Day Greats autographed football jersey, another case of limited football and more Crown Royal basketball. Saturday, we'll open Triple Play Baseball Box with three autographed memorabilia items in there. And then we're going to do the back half of that Top Series 1 Jumbo case that we start uh, tomorrow night. We'll finish it on Saturday. And guys, that'll be the only case where everything will ship, uh, where all the base cards and everything will go to the teams. All of our other cases after that, we're going to break as a full case when we'll put all the uh, base cards will go to a separate bidding category. So that's how that's going to roll. Um, Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, off night. We're not going to break on Super Bowl Sunday, but we'll be back at it on Monday with another case of Crown Royal basketball. We'll do another case of playbook football, and we'll do another Onyx Premier Gear uh, memorabilia auction. That one's a player break, so spots will be listed by player name rather than the team name in that break. And that is all the news to use for tonight. So one more time, thank you everyone for joining me. I do appreciate you spending part of your evening with me. I hope I'll see you again soon. In the meantime, stay warm, enjoy the rest of your night, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be back at it tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Bye now.